Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It's your girl, the real true divine feminine here. And I come with a quick little message for you guys. And my message to you guys is this right here. When you know the truth and you speak your truth, can't nobody humiliate you. Can't nobody shame you about nothing that you do. One thing, two things for sure about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will never humiliate you. you understand? God going to always call a truthful person to speak their truth and everybody else's truth that's around them. So ain't nothing nobody can say can humiliate you. One thing, two things for sure about a truthful person, they going to tell the truth. They going to speak the truth. It might not be your truth. You might don't like the delivery of it's coming, but it's still a truth. Guess what? Don't let nobody try to humiliate you about nothing you did. You did what you did. You said, stand on what you did. You said what you said. You said what you said. It ain't no taking back nothing. It ain't no redoing nothing. You did what you did. So guess what? Continue to be you. Be truthful to who you are. Listen, I don't care who's secretly working behind the scenes to try to do whatever to you. One thing, two things for sure is that when you have a relationship, a true relationship with the Holy Spirit, they will reveal to you your enemies, your frenemies, and all the rest of that. They will let you know. They will warn you about what people are doing, how they doing, how they moving out here. i tell you something. You have nothing to be embarrassed and shame of. I'm going to tell y'all this, and I'm going to say this with the most of respect. Tell you, I don't give a damn. It, I don't give a damn in your past. If you stole from people, you robbed from people. If you pop your coochie for a real one, if you slang that D for a real one, if you turn your life around, accepted who you used to be and accepted who you are now, that's the only thing. I was just letting you know I was out here. I was just letting you know I was out here. That's the only thing that you should be worried about or focus about. Other than that, you ain't got nothing else to worry about, nothing else. Put him in a car like that. Get in the car, Dad. That's the only thing that you should be worried about. You have nothing else to worry about nor be considered about when they uh when people try to bring up your past and stuff that you did to try to humiliate you or shame you about it for what? You did what you did. Point blank and pig, you gotta stand on what you did. You did your past is your past. And the only reason why people try to use your past to try to humiliate you for something is because they are so they are so insecure and scared of your future. See, a lot of people don't want to see you where you have to be and where God is trying to take you. So they try to do everything they possible can to stop you. They try to make sure that, that people see you as what you used to be, not what God has delivered you from. But let me tell you something. That's why I, got, I love God. That's why I serve him and praise him the way I do. Hey, my baby, how you doing? How was your Labor Day? Quiet. That's good. Yeah. Have a blessed day. Yes, sir. Um, when people try to humiliate you, shame you, and do all the rest of this about your past, um, that's because they are so terrified of your future. They don't want you to go nowhere. They don't want you to be who God has called you to be. But let me tell you something. If God has healed you from your past, if God has told you to move on from your past, if you have been delivered from your past, not nothing nobody bring up to your past can be able to get you down, make you feel no kind of way, make you feel sad and do all the rest of this. Because I'm going to say this. We all have done stuff in our past. Well, not, I ain't shaming nothing. I did what I did. I don't care. Listen, we all done done stuff in our past that people may try to feel like it wasn't, it ain't right to them. But shit, it was right for us, so we did it. So, you know what I'm saying? You cannot make base your life on how other people feel about your life. Because guess what? Whatever you choose to do in life, that is on you. Because when you're going to stand before God, you're going to stand for yourself. Not with nobody else. He's going to ask you about your own actions. He's not going to ask you about Paul, Sue, Aaron, Karen, Jake, a Josie, nobody else actions but your own. And that's what people fail to realize. People are always trying to humiliate somebody, bring up something about somebody. So what? That's why I tell y'all, tell y'all story because other MFs will add stuff to your story that don't go. Never be afraid to tell your story. Never be afraid to speak your truth. Never be afraid to say what you've been through because guess what? It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, the Holy Spirit will never embarrass you. So guess what? I'm going to say this again. You might have been, like I say, slanging that eye, slanging that wood, popping that pee, whatever it was you was doing. 
but you don't do that no more. And it's okay. You might have been around the block. You feel them? You might have done all that. Whatever it is that you done, you did what you did and you had to do it for a reason. And guess what? Whatever your reason was doing it, if you and God got an understanding, that's all that matters. Because I keep trying to tell y'all what's understood between you and whoever you dealing with in God ain't got to be explained to another soul. Don't You don't have to explain nothing to no other soul because they don't have no heaven or hell to put you in. One thing, two things for sure. People will try to put you in hell. People will try to isolate you, put you in a category because they don't want you to sit with them when they're not even worthy to sit at your table. You are the table, but they will try to flip the script around on you to try to make you feel some type of way about your past. Oh, you can't sit with me because you did this. You can't sit with me because you've been to jail. You can't sit with me because you lost your kids at one time. You can't sit with me before because you had a baby by a mad man. You can't sit with me. You can't sit with me because you stole. You can't sit with me because of this. Let me tell you something. When people throw up your past in your face, it's because they know your past, but you don't know nothing about theirs. You heard me? Theirs is hidden. Like I always tell people, one thing, two things for sure. A chosen one, a calling one. See, when you do something, you get caught instantly. Your karma come instantly and God deal with you instantly. See them people who who uh think they got away with stuff and stuff being exposed right now? That's the ones that's mad. That's the ones that's mad because you speaking your truth and all that stuff is coming out. And they don't like the truth that you're speaking. But guess what? It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Y'all got to learn how to stop being people pleaser. Bend over till these people kiss all of it. You heard me? And go about your business and go about your life. Don't let nobody dictate your life on how you should move and what you should do and why you should do this and why you should do that to be pleasing to them. You don't got to please nobody but God and yourself. As long as you happy with them, that's all that matters. So nobody can humiliate you about anything, no matter what they say or what they do. Oh, well, it happened. It happened. It happened. Oh, well, I'm still going to walk. I'm still going to step because I'm her. I'm her. You him. You who are you who God has called you to be and who God told you you are. That's who you are. Don't let nobody else tell you how to live your life what you should be ashamed of what you should be proud of because you know they quick they quick to say this that um yeah you know they did this yeah i did do it i sure did but mind your business where let's talk about what you did see because when folks know your business they try to talk about your business and what you did but they don't want their business to come out in the minute they business come out the minute stuff be coming to the forefront and the truth be exposed about them they want to start blaming you you can't put no jackets on nobody back that don't fit so baby guess what like i said speak your truth stand in your truth or whatever you have nothing to be humiliated about because the holy spirit will never humiliate you i don't know who that message is for and i don't know who needs to hear that but it's your girl, the real, true, divine, feminine. I pray this message help who it needs to help, bless who it needs to bless, and reach who it needs to reach. Have a blessed day.